Good uh, morning guys, welcome to a brand new day. It's a day where I'm all fogged in. I don't know if I have to scrape. Do I have to scrape? I see snow. Oh my gosh, I gotta scrape the car. What the heck? Ah, oh, good morning. It's a brand new day and apparently it's winter. So I got me taking it easy on Chino. I don't know if you guys saw yesterday's video, but he's doing a lot better. We are, so she stayed home. I'm extra excited to ride today. So I brought some cheat treats, some cheats. I brought some cheats. Oh, I thought you were just- I brought some treats to give Chino so he remembers that we love him and that we're, oh, <laughs> there's a horse here, Tucker. So some of the horses come in for morning breakfast. Their owner comes while wow, they're all fat. Don't get me. <sighs> Nothing worse than a- uh... Wait, we gotta think this through. <laughs> no, let's just go, we're late. So basically, we're having a lesson with Fiona. She oh, likes to do lessons in the morning. That's rough. Don't be a Gabby, just do it. Don't be a Gabby. I don't know my boot. <laughs> so, Sophie's boot that's supposed to last a lifetime has a hole in the top because she ripped it on a tree. This is what I don't like. Our horses, even though they're in the herd, they still don't feel comfortable <laughs> eating. And that's why Chino struggles, I feel like. See? Everybody eating at the hay. Our horse is waiting their turn. Oh, that's a new paint. Oh. They're hiding. <laughs> <laughs> Behind the shelter, we can't find them. <laughs> and they did, oh yeah, there they come out. Oh, Finn's chasing Chino off now. They literally fight like brothers. Something's wrong with my camera, I feel like. Chino, I have treats. Oh my gosh. What are they thinking? Vampires! <laughs> Oh my gosh, they're running again. <laughs> this is awful. Oh my God. Hi. Literally stop now. Oh! Tino, you look like your right arm. Look, he's not even faster than Finn. My pony's gonna need it cooler. Yeah, Finn's gonna be tired. He's oh, lunging himself. Oh, are going to the gate now. Let's yeah, go. go to the gate. Go to the gate. Go to the gate, but don't run in the mud. Oh. So yeah, this is fun. It's fun day. And we're even late too. Yeah, I am we're late. You know, they've been so good. Good thing I ate the <laughs> He's like, good thing I ate my breakfast. <laughs> this is how we carry our halter. This is how a good horsewoman carries her halter. They just stick there once to kill us. <laughs> Oh my goodness, every day you guys you take your life. Whoa! <laughs> I told you it was to You take your life in your hands. Today is a brand new day, so go out there and love today, even if you're late, even if your horses are taking you on a wild goose chase, even if watching your horse run like that in the mud gives you heart palpitations. We can't, even, we can't even see because the sun is in our eyes. Okay, I'm going this okay. way. This is like the best day, man, yeah. Best day, but I'm gonna tell you guys a big, huge secret. The secret is don't buy horses. <laughs> Just joking. Yeah. Just joking. They're not where I thought they'd be. All right, so if you go find your horse, because you're coming with me. Oh my gosh. They're hiding they're from us. They um, just, they're probably over here. Somewhere. They hide from us, but anyways, this we is my secret. You know uh, that person that drives you crazy. You know how your husband drives you crazy. You know how you're mad at so-and-so or your boss is annoying. Well, there's a trick to getting past all that. And it's not by ignoring them. That's the thing. People always tell you, just ignore them, just ignore them. But it's not by ignoring them. We need to stand on the highest hill and look around. They're in that field probably. All right. I feel like the horses have evolved this whole summer like now they used to go from one field to another now they hide in the trees the trick he is one know what trees <sighs> i've spotted him many yeah, times we can... right next to a tree here i'll show you how chino is oh. he's like this 
next to your tree. <laughs> yeah. And he's blinded in and you can barely see him. Buy yourself a Palomino pony. Okay. So the trick is this, to getting through any bad situation with somebody who drives you crazy. Get a horse. Even, no, it's so change the way problem. you think about them. So imagine you're looking in the mirror and it includes you. So imagine you're looking in the mirror and you're looking in the mirror and all you see is your chubby belly and your jeans that don't fit and your shirt that doesn't cover the rolls and you just look at her in the mirror and you say, Wear those clothes for pajamas. <laughs> you look at her and you say, you're fat. I'm so fat. Oh, I thought I saw a snake. But instead, when you look at her in the mirror, change your thought process. That's all that it's about, is changing your thought process. I'm not even joking you. That happens so easy. So for your friend that drives you bonkers, don't look at the bonkers. Look at the part where she's amazing. All right, go down that way. Okay, you're coming with me. So when your friend walks up and she's all sassy and rude, don't see that. See how beautiful her hair looks today and see how she's friendly even when she's grouchy in the morning. See only good stuff, you guys. I know I've said it before. <laughs> Into the deep dark woods. We can't find our horse. Come on, let's go. I say we cancel the lesson. Change the way you look at them. If you only see the bad stuff, you'll only feel bad about them, including yourself. Look at the good stuff. Oh my God, I see a horse. And I'll tell you something else. You see a horse. Oh my God. We see them. <laughs> and that's our trainer messaging me. Where are you? Yeah, look, they hide someplace new now. They, the horses are so smart. Change the way you feel about somebody and you will feel differently about them. Like. It's the easiest thing to do. You just have to be mindful. Be mindful about your thoughts and the way you think about people. And I can promise you that when you only see good, your life takes on this whole new meaning. Everything seems amazing. Everything seems good. Even the people who drive you crazy, you just look at the good in them. Listen, we have treats. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on, Chino, I know you want to. He'd be looking back. Come on, I know Gabby's not here. If Gabby was here, he'd walk to her, I know it. Come on, put your hand out like you got treats. Keep going. All, they're gonna circle back to me. All right, so I can, don't know if you guys can see. Empire horses are way over there. See their blankets? You can see Finn's blanket. Silly of us to put a dark blanket on a dark horse. That's all we could get though. I do not know where Sophie is. But she's going in there and I'm staying. Oh, she caught him. She caught him! Hopefully Chino comes too. Yep, Chino's coming too. They do get us back though. They're like, fine, you caught me. But don't worry, I will be lame! <laughs> That's what they do. All right, you want treats? Uh -uh. Not that you deserve one. Don't eat the mask. You don't deserve it. You were a bad boy. <laughs> All right, let's go. Lessons, not for you. Although I don't think giving you treats was a good idea because you just think that running is a way to get treats. But we got our boy. That's all that matters. I love that our horses live like wild animals. But now I'm starting to think that our horses are turning into wild animals because they live like them. Maybe not the best thing. Also, if you missed yesterday's video, you might not have heard me say this, but when we bought Chino, he came with hoof boots. Came with them, special ones, scoop boots maybe? And we just kept them. But now I'm thinking like, obviously if he came with them, he needed them and used them. So maybe Chino blows more shoes. We'll try the scoop boots instead. And I actually feel it in my heart, like that might be the right thing for him because his old owner had him from 12 years. She would have had time to figure things out. Because when you get horses, it takes a long time. Ow, it made me walk through the trees. It took us two and a half years to figure so much out on Finn. Listen, <laughs> I need to go. Chino left, you guys. He went back to eat, he knows the drill. He saw Gabby's not here. He understands. 
Yeah, so if he's taking Gabby's way back. Slip. Your pony slid? And I was going down. <laughs> Hope everybody's okay. All right, hopefully, knock on wood, Finn be okay. We're finally here. It was exhausting. Hopefully Finn is like, calmed himself down because he was mad. But I think he's worked himself out of all of his energy. Because he's been really slow and really calm and really quiet. So if he had, I might skip my lesson on Monday. You might skip your lesson on Monday? <laughs> the whole no stir up November is really stressing her out. But they have a lesson. You have oh, a, my thighs hurt. Oh. If your thighs hurt while you're riding, that's not good. It takes like a good three days for them to recover. It's too bad that kids don't learn how to ride without stirrups like they do in Europe because in Canada they're just not taught that way. And it's unfortunate because it's so good for them. Like even though I want to do it. I feel like sometimes even though it's hard, once you learn it, you learn it. I know I'm on a gated horse so it's easier. But I ride at the Paso Farm and sometimes I feel like the stirrups are holding me back. Like... I could move better, be better, and fall off better. Fall off way better. <laughs> we are ready to roll. You ready, Finny? Ready to go out there? Find Chino? Oh my gosh, she's still a little wet. All right, see you later. I'll be in the car. Okay. I'm walking with my penny. No. <laughs> she's so good with me. Until the minute I get out the camera. The minute I get out the camera, she's like, I will eat the I, I will eat the grass. There's no eating grass, Penny Pickle. We're walking up a hill. We're walking up a hill because walking up hills helps her suspensory ligament get strong. And this is the hill that we're gonna ride up soon. Over and over, I walk her up here every day. And it's a practice thing that we both do. It's something we both do together, obviously. And she's so good. Oh. Definitely be much easier for me to ride her up. <laughs> no. And then we go down the hill. Oops. She's got a burr in her nose. Goodbye, girlies. I'd stay, but I have to go do school. It's been a long day. I have to go do crickets in school. I'll be back, okay? We'll come back down. She's been rolling in mud. You are a muddy girl. <laughs> Based on how well she's walking up and down that hill, I feel like I feel brave enough to ride her soon. I'd feel braver if Sophie did it first. But she says no. Unfortunately, I'm a lot like Sophie. I either want somebody to do it before me so I learn to be brave about it, or I don't want to do it. But I want to want to do it. I'm just nervous and it's hard for me to control my fear. Gabby be driving. Yeah, Gabby drives. Gabby drives. She's almost... You drive too? Oh my goodness, when did She's that happen? She's never driven before. Yeah, I have not driven a lot more. I don't want to hit that. Yeah, I don't want you to hit that either. So the reason I like Gabby Drive, Sam and I both like Gabby Drive, is yeah. because, okay, what's behind us though? Nothing. Oh, good. It's because she's gonna be 15 on this next birthday that's in six months. I thought she was 13. No, she's 14, almost 15, 14 and a half. She's exactly 14 and a half, actually more than that. So, I want her to gain confidence now and be prepared and learn what she needs to do so that when it's time, she's ready. If we lived in town and she didn't have any place safe to practice, then she would not be practicing. But because we live where we live and we have a big enough area for her to speed, <laughs> um, uh, we let her. It's going 10. Yeah, 10. You should be going three. Anyway, we let her practice, and I love that we do that with her. And I'm we'll do it with Sophie, too. Because the seatbelt warning went off. Don't yeah. tell them that we have no seatbelts on. Don't tell them. We have no seatbelts on in our driveway. Oh, no. How scary. How scary. Sophie and I are fixing up Trixie's tank. It's always so messy because the cricket guts. Trixie. She's like, I will eat everything. Hey, tricks. It's hard to pick her up with one hand. There we go. Hello. 
So here she is. If anybody's wondering about her, we love her still. It was such a good choice to get her. So uh, this is what we do. This is what we make. We make like a salad and then cut up some other things. What we do is we put her daily salad on like a napkin so it's fresh. So today she's getting salad and app a little bit of apple but anyways i just wanted to update you guys on trixie we still love her she's not huge she's a good size for her she's a girl and she's gonna lay eggs at some point so we definitely don't want her to be too big i know i've told you guys this before but i love having her down here she's so sweet let's see My show them how hurt. sweet you are mm -hmm. <laughs> see her kiss me say hi trix Say hi. How close is that to her face? Oh, she's so cute. Like I can't even get over how sweet she is. So the thing that they never tell you about bearded dragons, well, you can read about it, but the thing they never actually tell you about bearded dragons is how sweet they are. Like she's a very, gen she's so gentle. Like she's just so gentle. She notices if somebody's new and she doesn't know them. If she doesn't know them, she's like, get away from me. I don't know you. But if she knows you, she feels comfortable and safe with you. And she's just so cute. But she's not a huge one. We purposely tried to not overfeed her. Right? Right, Trixie? But she does eat a lot. It costs more to keep a bearded dragon every week than it does to keep a dog. Mm -hmm. Isn't that insane? Yeah, but you're really worth it. She's like, yeah, I am worth it. There you go. She's still kind of getting used to the dogs, having the dogs around, running and stuff around her. And that's okay. My niece's bearded dragon is totally used to their dog rides on their back, rides on his back, on her back. Right? Right, Trix? Yeah, she's such a good girl. Don't you know that you're beautiful?